ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to a skin preview for the latest skin to join the Western release of Lost Ark, the Dark Omen skin. This is available for all classes in the game right now. Uh, and we're going to go through all the colors and preview everything so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it did come with a matching mount as well. So we'll go through that uh, and just see what everything looks like in game. Because honestly, it doesn't always do the best job of showing off its own content. But first, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Who knows? I might even be streaming right now. Starting with the Chaos Ghost skin for Mount skin. Uh, this has, I think it has a matching color for every version of the Dark Omen skin for every class. Uh, but this is what the first one, the blue one looks like, kind of like a silver hue uh, metal alloy here with the blue. Uh, we're going through, quickly through the Mount emotes, the Mount abilities you can get, and then we'll go through the rest of the colors. So this is the first one, Summon Ghosts. Little neigh upward, it'll summon some ghosts in the color of the effect you have on the mount. Second one is Thrilled, kind of just gets really excited, kicks up some dust, a little like little scratch the ground. And the last one's pretty cool. It's a back kick. So <laughs> it's like a little hind kick. You can walk up to your, I guess your friends and then just hit them real quick. It doesn't really do anything or hit anything, but it's a cool little moat you can have for the horse. I think this is supposed to match the purple version of it. It has like a deep, this one looks really cool. It's kind of like a deep blue with almost like this bronze brass uh, fixing on the side. Uh, similar skin color on the horse, but yeah, it's a cool little vibe there. And we can look at that, actually, let's look at the, the ghost for each one. So this will change the color of the ghost emote that you have for the mount. This one's like the silver and red. Uh, I love the color of this little like um, accent here for the saddle, uh, but it's got like a very sharp, uh, high gloss, high spec silver on the armor, and then it's got like this deep red, deep crimson color. Uh, so let's look at the ghost real quick. Nice. You can see when it brightens up like that with the red, it looks real cool. Boom, boom, boom. And this is kind of like the opposite. It's got like this deep black, low spec, kind of a matte color for the, the, the black and gray charcoal. It's a much darker horse uh, skin color and hair color, but it's got like this deep green uh, look to it. This one looks, I mean, they, they look really great. Uh, this will have the same kind of, now remember all mounts are the same speed when they run, um, but then they have different emotes that you can pick from. Um, so then you have this. So these are the ghosts. This one, I think this one looks really good. And this actually has a matching one for the green colors you'll see when we go through the Dark Omen skins. And if you want a white horse, this is the white horse version. I love this like teal colors. One of my favorite colors is this teal blue. It's actually my logo too. Uh, but you have this like teal color on the horse. Um, and then let's look at the spirits here. So you got like this kind of white saddle with a blue offset, like a deep blue uh, accent here. And you have like the black hair with a white horse and then this like really nice uh, teal looking color with the ghost as well. Looks great. And let's move on to the character skins. We'll start with fighter. So we're gonna start with striker here. This is the green coloration. And as you can see from the horses, it does have that like dark low spec uh, black charcoal color. Uh, this is the full skin for the striker. Uh, with a green coloration. The next coloration is the deep purple co version. There's a little bit of a, kind of like a pink tinge to the armor and the, the cloth, uh, but then the glow is like this deep purple blue uh, coloration to it, which uh, honestly looks great. This one looks pretty mean. This is like the brass coloration with an orange glow. It looks like it's got a little bit of red on the back for like this demon skull as well. And the last one is a bright red crimson coloration. This is one of the ones that matches one of the horses. Uh, it's got the red eyes, but this has like the bright silver, high spec, high uh, reflection metal uh, finish on it uh, with the red, uh, you know, and this might fit your fancy. I kind of like the striker that has like, um, you'll see this less with the female characters, but um, if it, there's like an actual um, thin film blackness over it um, that kind of recolors the skin. So it looks kind of demonic, uh, which is pretty cool. Next is Scrapper. We'll go through the female martial artists, so the female fighters. Um, and this is the female version. So all the female fighters will have the same body, but obviously they'll have different weapons. Um, so this is the green version with the black. Uh, it's got kind of this like lined chitinous look to the, the leather armor with some, you know, silver, kind of like more metal, just pure metal spikes to it. Um, and one thing to note as well, some skins change the hair uh, of your character. So if, this, if your, your fighter, your martial artist doesn't have this ponytail, it will need it to... It'll get it um, with your hair color 
when you put the helmet on. So a good thing to know. But you can see the scrapper gauntlets. One of my favorite things about the scrapper is just that the gauntlets are very large. Um, and this one's pretty cool. It's got like these nice tips to it. I actually like the green one because it matches the shock energy color for uh for scrapper when they use shock abilities it's this kind of green so it kind of has that that skin energy to it uh, but this is the uh scrapper green color this is the purple version and again it's got that kind of light pink uh purple tinge to the armor still has the same um layout and everything got the spikes and everything on it and then the glow itself is purple this one looks very demonic shadow hunter look to it but obviously you are the female fighter this is the brass, bronze, orange glow. I like, it's got like a deep black, which is really nice. And I think it accents the, the brass looking color here on the gauntlets. Um, and then got a red glow to it with the cape as well. Um, and the red eye is obviously very uh, iconic. Everyone loves a red eye look to it. And the last one is the orange, like the orange, much more orange looking coloration on the glow. And you can see that the, the leather armor itself is a, a much deeper, richer color. It does have a little bit of orange or red hue to it um, built in there. And then it does have like a little bit more silver, less brass, more like, I don't know, it's like that gunmetal charcoal color to the metal um, with the orange glow on top. Um, so like a little bit of a different palette, um, but still looks really good. Next up is War Dancer. Uh, you can see that the core skin, since it is a female martial artist, is the same. Now, one thing to keep in mind is my War Dancer does not have this ponytail, uh, but it does have this hair color. So with this skin on, it'll have your hair color, but the ponytail just to fit the head. Um, so it will change your hairstyle, which is kind of cool. It gives you an option to change the hairstyle without doing it. Um, but this is the green and black version of the skin on the War Dancer with the gauntlets that fit that class. The purple version has the uh, kind of light pink purple built into the leather, same kind of chitinous armor as well as the purple pink glow on the weapons and then the body as well. I think the red one for the War Dancer fits her really well. Uh, all the esoteric abilities have a very fiery red kind of look to them. So this one I think matches the War Dancer nicely. Has that brass bronze uh, metal coloration with more red um, and then kind of like the darker black on the, the leather, leather armor in the middle. And here's the last colors for the War Dancer. Same body with like the deeper kind of slight red orange tinge to it and then the orange glow that's on it as well uh, with the changed hairstyle. Nice look for the War Dancer. Last for the fighters, the martial artist is the Soul Fist, who has uh, no gauntlets on the hand and then has the floating uh, essence um, for, the, for her weapon. So this is what the Soul Fist looks like. And since she has no weapons here, you'll get this extra glow, which might actually be there without the weapons anyway on the hands. Uh, but you can see that the skin is the same. It's that deep black with the, the light kind of tarnished metal look to it with the green glow. Again, my, my Soul Fist does not have this hairstyle. She has a brown hair though. So it kind of puts that hairstyle on her when you put the head on. Uh, but this is what it looks like with her and then her floating uh, essence here, her floating weapon uh, with the same coloration as the green. Next is the purple coloration for the Soul Fist. I actually really like this for the Soul Fist, mainly because her hype level three has that purple pink glow to it. So it's got that nice skin energy with the abilities when you go into hype state, especially if you're doing robust spirit build and you're always going into hype three, then you're like, hey, Ken, Super Saiyan form matches the coloration here. And, and we do be liking uh, Skinnergy. This is what the Soul Fist looks like on the purple. This is the brass bronze look with the red coloration. The horns on the weapon here look really, really good. We can see if we can zoom out a little bit on that just to see the Soul Fist weapon a little better. Uh, but yeah, that's the, the coloration there on her little floaty weapon. And then the same uh, skin that we have here in the middle um, on her, on the Soul Fist. And here's the last one for the Soul Fist. Again, with the hands, no weapons on it, no gauntlets on it. You just get this really nice glow um, with the deeper red color, like dark black red, and then the weapon. And we can zoom out a little bit to see the uh, Soul Fist weapon better as well. Uh, overall, looks really cool. I think it, it fits her nicely. It's a nice skin to have for the Soul Fist. Moving on to Assassins, starting with the Death Blade. This is the Assassin skin for the Dark Omen set on the Death Blade. Uh, I like the little webbing that they have here with the metal. I like the spec. I'm not sure if I like the exposed legs here personally. For something that's like this kind of demonic, I like having more armor, more spikes, that kind of thing. But this is what it looks like for the Assassin. Uh, got some nice gauntlets, a little bit of like the finger claws as well. Um, for these, we can show the weapon out as well. And this is the two blades that the Deathblade holds. And then this is the big long sword on the back, uh, which is pretty cool. 
And then rather than a purple, which the martial artist got, the assassins get this deep blue with this nice, I think the mist looks really good, especially on the assassins with this like one singular wing, this asymmetrical wing design that comes out and falls forward. But you can see that you got the little inlaid crystals here on the leg um, that go up the side of the leg as well. Um, we can bring out the weapon. So that's the death blade with this. Uh, this one looks cool too, just because it has similar effect colors to the death blade. Um, but this is the kind of deeper black a little bit of a white gray on the outside and then the blue coloration on the effects. Then you have that brass bronze metal with like this deep, it's almost like a brown, dark, a dark brown, dark brown black coloration on the leather. Um, and then the same gem color going up and down the leg. Um, and then the glow in the mist. This one looks really cool. Um, and it does fit, it, it feels more like Halloween-y to me, um, just kind of fall colors. Uh, but it does look really good on the death blade and the assassins do get the white kind of like the white silver uh finish brushed uh brushed silver finish on the metal with a deeper black uh slash gray on the other pieces there with a red kind of like deep red crimson uh which i think fits assassins really well too so this is on the death blade uh, bring the weapons out here here's the long sword uh, and you, you get that, that kind of light gradient on the bottom of the cape as well which matches the rest of the aesthetic um, and this actually does have a color for the horse that can mass it match as well. And the Shadow Hunter, demonic in other regions. This is the first skin, the green and like off kind of charcoal black. Uh, very cool. This one's got like that uh, Eldritch Forest kind of vibe to it, uh, especially with the Shadow Hunter weapons. But this is the same skin with the mist coming off the asymmetrical wing, uh, which you can see here. And then these are the weapons that you get, which. They have kind of like this undead, uh, a little bit more slightly organic in appearance. Um, and then you have like the light uh, gradient at the bottom of the cape. But this is the Shadow Hunter green version. The bluer skin for the Shadow Hunter, it's got like this kind of darker black. It's closer to a black uh, with the glow coming off. The Shadow Hunter uh, blades as well. Uh, it's got like this, I think actually one of the few ones that have, if you see on the coloration for the weapon, as it comes off the main, like the VFX come off the main part of the weapon here. They fade to this deep, dark black color, uh, which not all the skins do that. Um, a lot of them stay very bright, but this the Shadow Hunter has this nice dark one coming off, which uh, is a nice accent to it. Uh, got the gems going up the leg, and then it's got like this, you know, this blue, almost indigo gradient on the back of the cape. Onto the brass bronze with the deep brown coloration on the leather, uh, and then that kind of like more uh, orange. And again, they got like, this deep black brown coming off the weapon. Uh, we can bring the weapon out as well. This is the Shadow Hunter. Uh, I love the wing for the Shadow Hunter just because they are the demonic class. Having that asymmetrical wing in any of the armor looks really, really good. Uh, and I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of that. And finally, the silver, brushed silver, brushed metal look for the Shadow Hunter with the red, deep crimson glow VFX. Uh, it's got like that kind of deep red gradient on the bottom of the cape. Uh, and then the red gems going down the leg. And then with the weapons out, this is what the Shadow Hunter looks like. Uh, super cool, and you can actually get some of the Shadow Hunter skin uh, or Shadow Hunter ability effects to look like this. Um, so this, I think, is another great, great coloration, uh, cool skin for the Shadow Hunter. Next, let's move on to Warriors. Uh, all armor. You see no skin with these. You have like, even like this kind of uh, light cloth with more of like a mithril chain link effect on it. So the Warriors don't show any skin here. Um, they've got these, uh, this kind of, it, it does feel more Lich King, uh, more Eldritch, more Necromancer, uh, with the spikes on it, and you get more armor out of it as well. So this is the first one, the green effects for the Gun Lancer. Um, all the Warrior skins are going to be the same here, but with different weapons. Um, and because the Gun Lancer has a huge weapon, we're going to, we're going to bring out that weapon, and then we can zoom out a little bit. But this is the Gun Lancer with that. It does look more Lance-like. Not all the Gun Lancer lances have this kind of conical shape to it. So I like the fact that it has that kind of um, conical shape that comes to a point. Uh, you get a little bit of a, a nice bayonet on the end there. Um, and then there's some nice covering too, and it looks pretty heavy. And the shield is cool. It's got these chains coming up onto the, the mouth and the eyes here. A lot of like uh, lines that break and move um, and more symmetry here, uh, which the Warriors have nice of. And it's got like this deep red uh, gradient on the back of the cape and the bottom with some fur too. It's almost like... Uh, as he's moving through the battlefield, he's picking up blood on the bottom of the cape. Uh, but this is the green version for the Gun Lancer. And the Warriors get a blue instead of like a deep purple uh, like the fighters do. So this is like this deep blue, uh, which I think fits the Warriors really well. It's like a really nice, cool coloration to it. 
Um, and it's got like almost like it's got the blue gradient at the bottom of the cape, uh, with like gold accent tassels there as well with the fur. The fur coloration is a little bit lighter, um, more charcoal with some brown in it. Um, and then you got like the deep blue coming off it, which is really cool as well. And this is it with the weapon out. We can zoom out a little bit, get that, that shot there. I like the way the blue looks on the top of the lance. It's got kind of this, uh, you know, like little guard for the hand, but the blue, I think, uh, it's got the, like almost like some light teal on the glow um, on the weapon itself inlaid into it. And then the VFX coming off of it um, has like that deeper blue on it as well, which looks really good. Then we got that brass bronze finish uh, with like the lighter brown on the fur as well as the bottom and some orange on the bottom of the, the cape that hangs off. Uh, and the fur is a little bit brighter, browner as well. Um, and then I, I get like I, this finish, I think probably looks like one of the best for the gun lancer. If we bring the weapon out um, and look at it, um, it does have like I, I like the accent of the deep black, um, kind of the ashy like deep black with the bronze brass finish on the weapon itself and the shield. The shield I think has a nice coloration to it as well that stands out um, with everything else. And last for the gun lancer is the silver with the red, the deep red crimson. Uh, again, I, I think this looks, I like the, the dark, kind of dark red coloration underneath of the gauntlet there, but this one has uh, some nice spec on the uh, little inlay uh, engravings here on the uh, bayonet, which makes it look really, like it stands out a lot. It looks almost organic uh, with the way they put the, the shine on that part of the weapon. Um, and this is it with the weapon out. We can zoom out a little bit and here you go. Um, so this one is just... I mean, you're just a hunk of metal as the gun lancer with this full skin set. It just, it just, I think this one looks really good as well. Next up is Paladin. So it's going to be the same armor, um, except it's going to have a sword on the back, which I think probably brings this whole thing together. You're not going to have the same bulkiness as the gun lancer. So you don't have the shield and the giant lance, the giant gun lance. But the sword that the, uh, the Paladin has kind of tucks under this extra little asymmetrical quaff that comes off and goes underneath this extra cape, which looks really good. Um, but we'll see it with the sword here. This is the first one, the kind of lighter coloration on the metal with the green coming off of it. And this is it with the sword out, uh, which with the with the paladin stance, night, again, accents this uh, asymmetrical. With the gun lance, you don't see this, this extra element here, this asymmetrical element on the back as much, but I think it, it adds a nice accent for the silhouette of the paladin itself when you're moving around like this. Uh, so we can get that kind of extra little positioning there. But this is the green, black, and a uh, light, lightly colored metal on top of it, followed by the deeper blue. Uh, I like this color here, the gradient at the bottom. Um, this one looks really, really good uh, with the black. So this is the Paladin with the sword on the back and the uh, darker blue coloration. And uh, this is it with the weapon out again as well. It shows off the uh, little asymmetrical element on the back um, with the uh, kind of darker arbor that has almost a little bit of a, like almost like a red or a, like a, a light blue color to it um but this is the blue version this is the orange uh the orange color with the red with the like almost like brass bronze this one uh, ended up for warriors ended up being a lot lighter it doesn't have that kind of like brassy color that some of the other classes have when you look at the armor itself uh but the orange looks good and this one i like just because it kind of matches more of the yellow uh the the yellow coloration of the paladin vfx um, I do like Skinergy, so this one looks really good. And this is it with the weapon out as well. Um, this might actually be my favorite for the Paladin just because of the coloration, but looks good. The last color for the Paladin is the uh, the, the, the bright silver, much more um, kind of uh, higher spec silver with the red, the deep red crimson coloration on the VFX. Uh, this one also looks really good. Uh, so this is it for the Paladin, and this is it with the weapon out as well. Uh, just to kind of see that but this one is nice because it does have some some bulk to it which is cool for the paladin um and i think all the all the metal kind of runs together in a really clean way and the weapon's got these really cool uh offset spikes that make a really interesting silhouette um which you don't always get with swords like that so this is a this is a cool look and last berserker the third warrior that we have in the western region right now this is basically the same armor as the others but uh it's the impossibly large great sword that the berserker wields which has its own design as well, which is really cool. And you can see it together with the warrior skin. So this is the first one. This is the kind of lighter, uh, lighter metal, kind of default metal with the green glow. This one's a little bit lighter than some of the other classes that are a little bit deeper. But it actually looks like we got some like almost, you see that kind of deep, more malaise coloration on the, the, the stuff coming out of the mouth of the, the weapon. 
You can see that like obviously there's some feeding down here that's just normal, but there's almost like this. It's all <laughs> it's like this uh, sickness coming off of it, which looks really cool. Uh, and this is it with the weapon out as well. This is what the berserker looks like. And honestly, I I like having the different silhouette for the berserker weapons because a lot of them are very different. And this one has you know some spikes coming out that go down um, into this like open end on the end there with a little piece missing. Um, this one uh, on the the first coloration has you can see the shine on the weapon. It does have a little bit of a, a bronze uh, characteristic to it on the outside, on the edge of the blade there. Um, and then you got the deep red gradient at the bottom of the uh, kilt and the bottom of the asymmetrical element on the back, um, as well as the back there. So this is the Berserker number one. This is the deep blue version for the Berserker uh, with the same weapon type, but you can see again, the, the sheen on the outside of the blade edge has changed based on this coloration. It's got some some more gold uh, tassels on the bottom of the asymmetrical element on the shoulder, uh, and then some deep blue coming through it. And this is what it looks like with the weapon out in combat. Um, so you can see that uh, the it that has a different feel to it once it has um, the metal qualities changed on it. And I think this one comes down at a different place as well. It goes down the middle of the blade and then moves around, which looks really really good. Onto the orange glow uh, with the light brass bronze look to it. Um, and then some pieces coming down, uh, which looks really good. Uh, you can see a little bit more of the armor here because it's a lighter coloration. Um, and then you can see that it's got that orange. This one always reminds me of Halloween fall time for whatever reason. Uh, and this is it with the weapon out, uh, which again, there's a lot of red and orange effects for Berserker, which is nice. So I think this one fits uh, more with the skin synergy uh, based on the class itself. But if you like the orange and the, the kind of more light you know, not like silvery, but more of a brass, bronze kind of look to the metal. Uh, this is this is an option. And this is the last color for the Berserker, the lighter silvery metal finish with the deep red, deep crimson coming off. Uh, this one has less color variance in the mouth on the weapon, uh, but it does have a, you know, it, it kind of adds to it, right? It's just a lot of red coming off here, uh, which is pretty cool. And actually, if you play non-mayhem um if you play the one that you go into normal berserk you probably get a lot of skin energy off this coloration as well which looks good uh, bring out the weapon and then we'll show this one off as well but this is the berserker dark omen dark red coloration next we'll move on to the mages starting with the sorceress who wields a staff this is the green version for the sorceress so similar to the female fighters and the assassins you can see it's got like this chitinous, uh, it reminds me of insects, but it has this little chitinous design that goes down the leg um, and through the midsection um, and over the chest as well. Um, and it's got like a nice shine to it um, with a silver finish. And you see a lot of the red gradient. And I think this is pretty common with mages in general. They have a lot of flowy robes and uh, cloth elements that come off of them regularly, but um, you can see it's all black on the backside. And then you got like this long red gradient coming down the bottom as well. And this is the first one, which has the green glow coloration for the sorceress. Um, nice little kneecaps there. You got the high heels. Uh, and this is it with the weapon out. Uh, so you can see this from a little bit further away. But this is what the sorceress looks like. Uh, very kind of high tower, dark tower vibe to it. Uh, the glow that comes off the hands is always there. And then you have the staff that goes along with it as well, which has a nice gradient that matches the coloration of the crystal and the glow of the VFX that come off the top as well. Then you have the purpler, again, like, like the, the female martial artists, they get more of a purple coloration, and it seems like the warrior and the uh, the gunners get more of a blue. So this is a very purple look to it. Um, and interesting, you can see that the uh, it's like it's like a, a more matte charcoal black on the black itself, and then the gradient goes like a deep purple here at the bottom. Um, and then you can see even on the chest, there's like this light, very light purple black color there. That kind of brings it all together with some on the chest there. The glow has this deep purple. And even on the eyes, you can see that uh, there's like this kind of darker coloration of the VFX coming off it as well. Um, and, th and this does come with tattoos on the back. Um, something that didn't mention in their coloration. But you can see there's tattoos here, which are part of the skin and not necessarily your character. Um, you can see this coming off, which uh, looks really great for Sorceress. Uh, this is it with the weapon out as well. You can see that uh, this is the purpler version for the sorceress. On to the orange VFX. And this is, uh, you know, as we saw before, there's a lot more brass uh, characteristic to the metal here um, as it sticks in. You can see uh, as we zoom in, there's a lot more orange and yellow tones in the metal itself. 
Um, and then on the, the actual skin, you can see the orange gradient coming down on the back, uh, the arm tassels, and then the center little uh, kilt drop, uh, dress drop here, skirt drop here. Um, same kind of sheen as the first one on the metal, uh, but I think the, the brass with the dark black looks really good. The heels are still silver here, and you can see silver accents um, through like the neck and the chest, the, like the necklace, um, the clavicle area, and then the chains hanging down, but then you still have the brass coming off as well. Um, then you have this orange coloration on the weapon, which looks great. Uh, you, you got this kind of meeting in here and it all brings it all together, which this one uh, does fit the sorceress really well. And last is the red, the deep red crimson, which I love what they did with the staff. They got this kind of like deep, deep, like super deep red uh, that gradients up into the middle here with a brighter color. Um, but it does have that kind of uh, light silver coloration. This has like a, almost like a blue on the chest with some red here um, and then goes up into the piece. I like how they have this kind of uh, body piece that goes into this. And even just in general, getting a, 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 hood, a head item that's a hood goes well with other, other skins as well. So this kind of has some uh, other options with combinations. Uh, and then you can see it with the staff out. So there is that, the red glow into the hands with the red on the staff for the sorceress. And let's look at this skin set for the bard. So you're gonna see the harp as the weapon on the back, but you can see it all put together in one. This is the first one with the green and the uh, red gradient that comes down uh, with the kind of like the chitinous leather look to it, the slight blue on the chest. And then you got this green glow, which is, has like this really bright green crystal on the harp, uh, which looks really good. And it's got almost like this, I guess this would be like a vulture as the weapon comes down. Um, and then you got the two wings coming up to form the arch of the harp um, that comes down into the four strings uh, with the tattoo on the back. So this is the, uh, the green and black version for the bard. And this is it with the weapon out. Um, I think this is probably one of my favorite bard weapons and bard combination because it's just so... And sometimes the skins that are so opposite to the character itself are, are some of the coolest because you get to see uh, what that looks like. But this is the bard with the green coloration. This is the bard with the purple gradient and then the light purple on, on the chest accent um, with a like, nice high spec uh, reflection on the legs and the body form with the like, kind of chitinous look onto it that. The hands, I think this one looks really great with the bard effects, the bluer, more purple song effects and discordance. Uh, but this is what it looks like with the purple version for the bard. And then this is it with the weapon out. So you can see that, uh, you know, I actually really like this as is with uh, kind of the vulture look to it because it makes the body see... Because of the coloration uh, and the feature of the, the metal here, it makes it the body stand out more. So it makes it look more obvious that this is a creature on the harp. And then I love the handle too. The purple gradient on the handle looks really nice. On to the orange version for the bard uh, with the, the harp on the back. Again, it's got the orange gradient with the darker coloration, the more brown tones and the brassy texture to the metal as well. Uh, and this is what it looks like with the weapon out. So again, a uh, nice kind of flowy orange fall coloration uh, with the orange glow on the VFX. And then again, this actually makes the the harp looks really good with this coloration too, because it, it looks almost natural. If you look at the, the profile of the weapon this way with the, the head looking at you, it looks uh, almost real. Uh, and I love the gem coloration here uh, that goes with the VFX as well. And this is the red color for the VFX on the bard. Uh, and I love what they did with the weapon. Looking at the body, it's the same as the sorceress. You got this light gray gradient on the bottom of the flowy robes. It brings more attention to the, the VFX with this. You can say even the hands here, when you zoom in, they've got like this uh, orange glow on the tips with little claws. Um, but what's cool is the weapon itself, uh, if you look on this, it has dark black wings with like this brushed silver uh, coloration on the metal, which makes them like very disparate and stand out a lot. Um, this one looks really good. And instead of having a red gradient on the weapon, it's a more of a black to gray to charcoal kind of feel to it. You can see the hands here with the orange nails and claws. This one looks great um, as this one turned out great for the bar. This is a great look. And lastly, we have the gunners, uh, the gun classes, plus that guy with a bow. Uh, so this, we're gonna start with the artillerist here. So this is what the gunner skin, the gunner skin itself will be the same for all of the, the male gunners. Uh, the female gunner will have their own, the gunslinger. Um, but this is the artillerist with the first coloration, the green color uh, for the weapon and the body. You can see it all put together here. Um, very skin tight, like the striker. So you can see kind of the muscle form, the muscle uh, accent here with more skin showing here with some tattoos on top. 
Um, then you got like the single spike on the top head here with uh, some silver on the mask metal. Um, and it's almost like they're de-accenting the chin and putting more on these, focusing on the fang look, I guess. It almost looks like the fangs are more, more of the mask and it's kind of like this almost snake-like look um, based on how they put the metal together. Uh, but this is the green coloration. Uh, you can see it on the back. It's got this uh, almost like Iron Man circle with the, the lighter green blue and then the green coming off of it with the wings. This one just reminds me of Sons of Anarchy. It's very um, metal. It's very biker. It's very uh, hardcore uh, from that look. You got the gray gradient on the asymmetrical piece coming off the, sol the, the, the shoulder. Uh, and this is the weapon. It actually has some brass bronze color here uh, around the middle uh, with the Gatlin cannon in the middle with some silver coming off the top as well. Um, and inside, it's got this almost, um, you know, greater, a lot of holes in it with the green coming out. That looks really good. And inside the weapon itself, it's got some gold slash brass bronze in there as well. Uh, a different coloration. But this is the green version for the artillerist. And this is the blue, although it does seem that the weapon's kind of purple. Uh, the body has more of a blue tinge to it uh, with the VFX coming off. And you can see again that, that light, that small blue color makes its way into the metal as well on the chest and the arms um, and then hanging off the legs as well. Um, we got this blue coloration, a much darker color on the mask, a very deep, uh, deep black metal on that. Uh, but you see the blue purple coming through on the hood with a much darker spike on there. This one de-accents the metal and focuses a lot on the, the connecting pieces uh, along with the weapon as well. So this is the weapon for the artillerist uh, on the purple side. I like the way this came together in the middle. It sounds almost like a dark cosmic look to it. It's got these uh, very metal spikes coming off the top where the vent comes out to, to cool off the weapon. And then it's got the same kind of brass bronze coloration behind the weapon on to the orange color for the the character itself once that pops off the screen um and again i think the weapon ended up with a different v effect i'm not sure how this happened but this is the way it looks in game with the orange coloration so you've got uh more skin showing here a a, a pretty big difference in the metal so like the armor here that has that kind of spike uh almost scale like uh, like reptilian scale like look to it uh, has a lighter brown red color to it. And then you have the brass uh, looking uh, features down here at the bottom uh, that kind of accent it with the chains as well. Um, on the back, you get that kind of red glow on the skull with the orange coming off of it um, with a lighter coloration on the, uh, the midsection and then the hood uh, leather looking cloth as well uh, on the spike on top. This is it with the weapon out. Uh, and the weapon has this almost like purple, this like pink like light pink color to it um, that goes along with this. And you can obviously mix and match your weapons. Um, I'm not sure why this looks a little different. Although this does have some black smoke coming off it. And that does look really good uh, with everything else. The last one for the artillerist is the silver metal. And actually the hood took on a lot of silver coloration there as well. A lot of red coming off the back with the silver here. Uh, and this is the artillerist weapon folded up. Um, this one seems to match. These VFX here seem to match for this one on the artillerist and this is it with the weapon out um, a lot of black in here which i really like uh, some orange coming off the middle um, with some red inside and then i think the silver on these spikes looks really good together it's actually probably one looks the most cohesive of the ones that they have for the artillerist this is the uh the dead eye so we'll be able to cycle through all the weapons here um, but first let's look at the body with the dead eye uh, this coloration and this vibe Looks very similar to um, a character that I, I, I helped work on for Paladins when I was a dev there, uh, Androxus. So it's got that kind of very edgy, dark metal, evil aesthetic with the green glowing VFX that come off the arms. I love the way on the Deadeye specifically, it kind of comes off this way and goes off the shoulders because you're going to get a lot of focus on the hands, especially as you're switching through the weapons. So it's nice to have that green glow coming off the arms that kind of accent that. Um, and then this is the uh, green version of it with the weapons. We'll zoom out a little bit so we can see the shotguns better. So these are the pistols uh, for the Deadeye as they have three weapons. This is the shotgun, uh, which has these like, it, it's almost like a skull, like an animal skull with the eyes here, the mouth, and these huge horns coming back. It does make the shotgun look really cool. Uh, and then this is the rifle, which has this really long aesthetic and then the same kind of skull look on top of it. But I like the skins for Gunslinger and Deadeye 
uh, that show their weapons more clearly. I think, you know, some of the skins we've gotten so far, like um, the Lawmaker and the Alar skin set, it, they just, they were normal weapons, which don't stand out from a distance. But this one, obviously, when the Deadeye is in rifle stance, you'll see it. Uh, it looks really obvious. Uh, I think the weapons look really great for Deadeye here. I think Deadeye and Gunslinger have a great option with this skin set as well. And this is the blue version for the Deadeye. I love the color here on the weapons. This little, like, this light blue that accents the rest of the deeper blue on the rest of the body. And then the, I think this one helps the horns and the skull of that design stand out a lot. You actually have on the weapons, you actually have this dark coloration underneath the lighter blue tinged metal. Um, you have this kind of purple blue on the back here, uh, which looks really cool. And then you can zoom out and see the weapons here. Uh, so this is the shotgun with the blue color. And then this is the rifle with the blue color. It's got like this deeper tone blue coming off with the light in the middle. I think they did a great job with the VFX on this one. This is the orange coloration for the Dark Omen skin for the Deadeye. Uh, you've got orange coming off the back with a deep red in the middle of the weapon, which I think is a really cool combination. We'll see what the red looks like in a second. Uh, but this is the brass metal on top um, with the red. The red skull looks great with the orange, almost like more like uh, Diablo or Doom, this color here. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. It's got those wings there as well. Uh, so that is the pistol. This is the shotgun. Again, it's got that orange or that red core with the orange coming off of it. Uh, and this is the rifle for the Deadeye on the orange color. And this is the red, the last one for the Deadeye. Uh, fits with the weapons. I think this is a cool extension. Again, got that light silver, that brushed metal look to it. Um, with the red eyes, the red glow, and the red effects. It still has the red core on the weapons, but now the effects are red instead of orange. Um, there's like this light orange inside the weapon, which is a cool aesthetic. Uh, and then we can look at the other two weapons for this one as well. This is the shotgun with the red version. And this is the rifle with the red version, which looks really cool. Next, the sharpshooter with the Dark Omen skin. Um, it is uh, it is the same as the others for the, the actual body itself. This is the green coloration, uh, but we'll see it together with the bow. So you can see the whole set together. Uh, so this is the, uh, the first one, the green color with a dark accent on the black with a light, like kind of a light um, a tinge to the metal that it comes up to on the edge here. Um, and this is with the bow collapsed on your back. Um, it does have that silver uh, lighter color with the dark black accent, which I think looks great, uh, with the green color on the VFX. And then this is the skin uh, with the the bow deployed, so out and open. I like these nice, simple recurve designs uh, that that bows have, and I think this one looks really great. It almost looks like the, the platinum skin for the sharpshooter, but um, this one comes together nicely for the sharpshooter. Next, we have the blue VFX, uh, which the males have. Um, and then this one was, again, it has like that light uh, purple blue tinge to the leather slash cloth that comes through on it. Um, does have the tattoos on the arms uh, and then has that blue coloration. So this is the, what this looks like put together for the sharpshooter. And then if we switch to the weapon deployed, this is the version that looks at, uh, with it with the black and blue. Mm-hmm. Next, we have the, the orange colors with the brushed brass, bronze, metal effects, um, that fall coloration. Um, it's got even got like this, uh, if you look at the middle here, it's got this red glow on the crystals in the chest. Uh, and the back, again, has that red skull with the orange effects. And this is what it looks like with the weapon folded up for the sharpshooter. And if you put the weapon out, it's got that recurve color, the spikes coming off. Um, it's got even uh, this black Nice black, deep brown color here with the accent metal on the outside uh, with the orange coming together. I like the fact that it all comes together on the weapon in the middle and you still have the VFX going up the arm, which for the sharpshooter looks great uh, since you have that kind of like long extension going into the bow and the arm and the coloration on top of that as well. And the last color of the Dark Omen for the sharpshooter is the red. It's got a lot of black in here for the color on the on the back. And again, the bow has the, uh, the deep black with the brushed bright silver on it. I think this would look great with the mount as well. Uh, so this is the uh, the last color for the sharpshooter uh, with the bow folded up on their back. And if we deploy it, this is what it looks like with the bow out. Uh, again, you get this nice kind of consensuate, uh, this continuous line of the VFX going up into the middle of the bow and then up the arm um, with the effects coming off. But this is the last color for the sharpshooter. And the last class to cover in the Western release is the gunslinger or the female gunner. So again, this is a unique skin set. Um, it's kind of loosely based on the Assassin lineup, but it is quite different um, in some areas. 
Uh, so you can see that the legs are covered up here um, and more exposed on top. Uh, it does have that same kind of chitinous insect look to the metal, though it's a little bit more scattered and chaotic in the middle, um, coming down the chest uh, and the midsection. And then you've got the same kind of uh, spidery aesthetic on the legs that go up. It's almost like spider webs um, with the crystals coming down, but then they have this, uh, I guess they would be tights um, underneath. Um, and then you have the this kind of like off color green gradient on the cape. And then you have the same kind of uh, the, the Deadeye Gunslinger weapons. So this is the Gunslinger version uh, all put together. This, those are the pistols. This is the shotgun, uh, which looks really good. Uh, I think this one has even a darker metal, um, but I love how much VFX are coming off of this. Uh, so you can really see it when you're running around as a Gunslinger, when you're in shotgun stance, and then when you're in rifle stance, which you spend a lot of time in as the Gunslinger, you get this really big silhouette, this nice uh, visual that comes off of her with a lot of green that matches your skin um, on the on the body, which looks really good as well. You get a little bit of uh, showing on the hands, but you'd have these kind of finger claws as well. Uh, and then uh, uh, you get a little bit of skin underneath the, the mask in the face, but that, that's the green version. Then with the females, they get the more purple coloration on the second option. Uh, this one has, you can even see it on the heels here. There's this slight blue purple coloration to the metal underneath. Um, and then the purple glowing coming off the weapons, the body, um, they on the chest uh, midsection here they have this uh, little skull that spews flames coming off and the same on the back there uh, but this is the gunslinger with that um, they even have like deeper like almost like the sclera of the eyes and then the glow of the purple in the middle this one just looks so evil and wicked um, and then you have the the same with the weapons here we can roll through the weapons it's got like this lighter charcoal color to the black as well uh, and that's the, there's the shotgun and this is the rifle. Third color for the gunslinger is the orange. We've got the orange and this one shows a lot of that brown, uh, like super dark, light brown, uh, orange tinge to the metal and the cloth, uh, especially here on the legs and the thighs. Um, and then it goes up to the middle here in the midsection and you've got those pieces there. It's, it's orange on most of the flames. You see a little bit of red coming off the, the center of the, the, the tummy there, this, the midsection. Um, and you, again, you got the red core on the pistols with the orange glow coming off of it. But I like the accent here of the browner, dark black uh, with the bronze finish uh, coming off the, the the head and the other pieces. So that's the pistols for the gunslinger with these red crystals going up the leg. Uh, and this is the shotgun for the gunslinger. And then this is the uh, rifle, which has a lot of orange uh, and then yellow in the core, which I think is a nice cool gradient to look at. And the last one to cover is the red glow. And this one, I think less, this one is more black than all the other skins. Most skins for this coloration with the red, they have a lot of silver and brushed metal. Um, this one is still very, very dark, which makes it unique. Um, but this is the red version for the gunslinger. Um, it got like very red glow with dark black and then even a dark, uh, this metal is, is pretty dark overall uh, for the gunslinger. You got that red gradient on the back of the cape. Uh, with the glow on the back of the heels, the crystals going up the leg, and then this deep red for the pistols. Uh, we can switch to the shotgun. You see the red coming off, um, and a little bit of orange on the eyes for these gems too, which is nice. And then the rifle, which we'll have to zoom out to see fully. Uh, this one, I just love how big the rifle is for the dead eye and the gunslinger on this Dark Omen set. But that is all the classes in the game uh, currently for the Western release on the Dark Omen. Uh, plus the horse. So I hope you guys really like this. And last thing, if you buy the full pack uh, of the the skin of the uh, the skin set as well, you'll get the Dark Omen uh, uh, background for your character select. So this is what this looks like. This one blew me away. It looks amazing. It's that very kind of uh, Phaeton, dark, demonic, uh, super crazy vibe to it. They're all sitting on the stairs as they go across. But I think uh, I think this in general just looks so good. Uh, so this this is a one this is a locked for the account. So once you get it, you get it for your whole account. All your servers and everything can get access to this wallpaper. And generally, the wallpapers uh, are are sold once and not again. So it's really cool to see uh, what this looks like. So this is the wallpaper for you. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.